before we look ahead to the game, um, how good was it to, to get back out there after your suspension? Yeah, it felt like it went on for ages because of the four games. It was obviously a hard one to take, but yeah, I had to sit and watch the boys and yeah, it just felt nice to be back out and being able to help everyone and feeling like you could have a bit more control over things. How frustrating has it been given the nature of your ban as well? You've alluded to it there. Yeah, it was. It took a few days to get over it. I think the fact it affected the game itself when it happened and then it obviously then carries on into the next further four games. So, yeah, it's, it was a frustrating one, but one which you couldn't really do much about after it's happened. So just have to work on the things which we can affect. Mickey said last week as well that it was great to have players like yourself and Kieran Morris obviously back from suspension as well and back available. Um, just wondering, how, how would you reflect, with one game to go, how would you reflect on your own personal season, do you think? Yeah, I think it's been fairly consistent. It took me, if I go back, it, I've missed a lot of pre-season, so it took me a little while to get right up to speed. But since then, I think it's been been okay and um, hopefully it's not quite finished yet. No, absolutely. Yeah, we'll, we'll look ahead to that now. It is absolutely must win against Leighton Orient. Has that helped your focus at all this week? Mm, not, not really. shouldn't really change anything, to be fair. We know what we have to do and we can only really control what we do. So we'll try and win the game as we do with any other game of football. And then hopefully things happen elsewhere, which, which help us. As you say, it is in effect as well about other teams doing you a favour or looking for results elsewhere to go your way. How much pressure, though, is there in terms of getting your own job done, regardless of the overall picture being out of your hands? Um, yeah, there's pressure, but I think there's been pressure for many games now. We've needed to win a, a lot of games. Some we have, some we haven't. So we, we're aware of what our, where we've sort of let ourselves down, especially going away from home. So it'll be a good one to try and get that sort of monkey off our back now, I think. And I think I asked Leo Connor about this as well, about just about the away form in general. It has been well documented, but he wasn't entirely sure why there's been so much of a difference. Have you got any opinions on why and why it's been the case? No, I think it's just about trying to have the same mentality as we have at home as away from home. I think it's the same size of football pitch. The game's the same. It's just, I think, I don't know, maybe it's... It can be more comfortable at home for people, but I think that we've, we've we knew the answers and we would have changed them early on in the season, but we've never quite been able to put our finger on it for the last few um, few weeks. So, but if we can end up winning one away from home and it goes our way, then that sort of pressure might be lifted slightly if we get into the playoffs. Are you the kind of player who will want to know the scores from the other games on Saturday? Mm, I think probably yeah if, if, not during the game when you're playing the game it's probably not but if at half time someone said it's not it'd be nice to know if we are if the other teams are struggling then well we need to win anyway so it doesn't really actually matter to be honest but sometimes it's quite nice to know yeah yeah no I, I totally understand that and when you look at Leighton Orient has that has the 4-0 defeat in December has it helped away in terms of knowing what to do differently or are are you looking at this to as just a totally different game? No, it's quite, it's completely different. We've had so many games since then. I'm sure a lot of their personnel is different, our personnel is different. So it's not, it's not, we've not even really spoke about that game, to be honest. It's pretty forgotten about. We've played them again since at home anyway and beat them. So we're not thinking about that at all now. No, it, it is, it is a massive game, as you say. In terms of, the fans, I asked, um, asked Josh Hawks last week in terms of his fans, obviously, with the last game at Prenton Park. I just wondered if you got a message for the fans ahead of the, the huge game at the weekend. Just hopefully for the 90 minutes, stick by us. And then after, we, we'll give everything we've got and hopefully it's enough. But if it's not, their support's been top class throughout the whole season and that's not changed. So if it's to be, then great. And then if it's not, it's... We can only say thank you to the fans for everything that they've done for us throughout the whole season, home and away.